everybody. It's Sunday. Um, it's overcasty today. A little chilly. Much, um, much uh, needed from yesterday's uh, intense sun. We can't have access to internet, so we're not sure what our day is going to bring today. Um, but we've decided we're probably going to move campsites closer to where we have to leave tomorrow. And, yeah, I've been putting the tent away and Rob has made us a nice breakfast. Let's see what he's up to. Nice hot coffee this morning. Rehydrated potatoes. better of a breakfast than this before paddling me. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just out of dehydra dehydrated bacon. mess when you dehydrate it first, eh? are ready. Rob's just doing the final pacing to see if we forgot anything because he found the truck keys on the ground. <laughs> that would have been terrible. So remember, um, anytime you're leaving a campsite, whether it's in a uh, backcountry or just a regular provincial or national campsite, always pack up and keep bring your garbage out with you. This site was amazing. Definitely would recommend it to anybody who's um, looking for an easy canoe route with a lot of scenery and no portaging. So we are going to head now back into the canoe and hopefully it won't rain on us. Everything's packed up and we're ready to roll again. All right, let's go. Ugh. 
getting in first? Yep. Bye campsite. I bet you there won't be as many boats out today, unless the weather changes. But look at how calm the water is, eh? It's not a ripple. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we just scared a duck away. Oh, did he let go? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, it's a fish. Ready? Gotta go sideways. Ooh, fast. Oh, God. He's a heavy little bugger. <sighs> oh. Is that a bass or a sunfish? Oh, sunfish. <laughs> Back out into the main river where all the cottages and boaters are. Um, we went into Pike Lake and I broke my line on some weeds and so we ended up just coming out of there. There were so many weeds, just kept getting caught up. I'm sure I get away from these rocks now. through. Break. Okay. Rob is just checking the maps. See 
see where we are and where our next campsite is. Point eight kilometers. So, like going to Chippewa right School. That big island is our campsite. We're going on that island? Okay, let's go check it out. Is there an opening around this little nook? Do you think? I see a family of ducks. I think we found our fur our second night spot. Oh. It's kind of up and around. On this little island. Neat spot though. Just gonna make sure we think we can peg down our tent because we're supposed to get a bit of rain tomorrow and maybe tonight. Let's go see what we think. Our borders. Yeah, the other side. Yeah, there's a trail back there. Here. Yep. Really cute spot for a fire if we can stand the bugs tonight. <laughs> and then the tent spot. Oh, got a little, uh, it's got a little ledge. You don't have to get pounded by the wind. You like it? Perfect. Man, there's some campsites here, right? Eh? Yeah. They're beautiful spots. Where's the latrine? Oh. I don't know. There's usually a little thing, uh, blue person signs. You find it? You smell it? <laughs> Smells what? Dead? That's not good. That's where we are here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful campsite, but we decided we're not staying because there's no treasure chest. And when you look deeper, people have left a lot of toilet paper. Everywhere. All over the site. So, Assholes. no thank you. And there's a funk coming from the other side. So if we go back where we went and try this one here, that'll be fairly busy in there. We'll we go mm -hmm. up one more here. I think we should go up one more and see. Yes, it's only a, it's just another, a hop skippity jump. Another kilometer. Mm -hmm. We can manage that. Yeah, let's get a snack though. Okay. Where the entrance is. I'm looking for the little marker because that's usually. you see a marker? Yep, I see it. Which way? I think that's where, where that scrawny little tree is. I think. 
probably like a little wee boat launch in there. Good enough here. Hey guys, we finally made it to our second campsite. Um, the other one wasn't adequate, so we decided to keep moving on about another kilometer. And so I'll take you around this site. It's pretty small, but we have a beautiful view. Um, much too high for me to jump off of for swimming, but we can swim way down off the end over there, which would be great. Rob's just setting up our little, can't see where he is, he's over here somewhere, setting up the uh, kitchen area, pulling some things out of the bag. Um, this is our fire pit for this evening here. We're gonna have spaghetti, so we don't really need to cook the fire tonight, I don't think. Uh, somebody left us a little wee bit of firewood, which is good, because it doesn't look like there's a lot left lying around to get um, and we're going to put ow, our tent over here it seems like one of the flattest areas over here to have the tent with a nice breeze to come through last night there wasn't much of a breeze so we're gonna set the tent up today so that we know we will have a bit of a breeze for for the evening because it was hot last night Yesterday, mind you, was much warmer, but the sun is starting to come out now, so we're going to take advantage of getting ready for the evening, make lunch, and hopefully catch a fish off this cliff. Oh, there's a small part of me just wants to give her a push. <laughs> oh, you be quiet. <laughs> That's slugged plenty deep down there, people. Yes, it is. And I'm sure there are several people here. And so she's going to jump off it later, so stay tuned. No, I'm not. I don't know if you can see him, guys, but there's a beaver straight down there. He's floating. He's going in towards the little inlet there. He's making lots of noise, and in the bush you can hear some, like, crackling. I think there's two. I've seen two beavers. Oh, he's turned around. Maybe he knows we're watching him. He doesn't want you to know where his house is. There he goes. Funny little guy. Cute. The beavers are swimming around. I found another area which you can see. Oh, they're both looking at me. Like, oh, human. Human alert. Human alert. You guys a little closer with the zoom. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Just swimming around in circles, enjoying their lovely day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Time to put the tent up. go for a swim the sun is out and it's warm and it's just the perfect time right now to 
go for a swim. So that's what we're gonna go do. Go. <laughs> So we're out here fishing and happen to see this snake. Rob caught his eye on it. <laughs> He's in the shadows out there. I don't know what kind he is, but I don't think that he is a garden snake of any sort. Ooh, he's not very happy we're here. Oh wow, look him go. <laughs> is mad. Yeah. I'm really interrupting his sunny box. <laughs> you out here, dear? Pump some more water again. Okay. While we were fishing, we were letting supper rehydrate. We're having some uh, spaghetti that Rob made in the dehydrator. A lot of cheese. Lots of cheese. <laughs> it's I've, slowly coming along. I haven't even heated it up again. This is all cold water. No, that's just cold water. Usually they carry tomato sauce to make it red, but I didn't use anything. It's all natural. Mm -hmm. Well, past natural, but you know what I mean. We're not adding anything when we get here. Other than cheese. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Night two of pushing it. Pushing it. <laughs> Dinner is served. Yum. Let's go eat. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know where the thermosil is in the way. It's gonna be strong. It's gonna be good. We need it. Shannon was complaining she felt old this morning. I don't feel old at all. I didn't. I said I feel 20 years ago. Yeah. That's 40 year old body. She climbed out of that tent like an 80 year old after a night of partying. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> well, she's full this morning.
rough now, eh? Wind against us. <laughs> None of that was on camera. <laughs> oh well. Caught a small pike and had to put him back. He wasn't worth keeping. Sure are lots of pike in here though, eh? Morning. Are you guys looking for the Harvey Bay Marina? Yeah! Okay, thank you! Oh. Thank you! Same. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. I was right. <laughs> it does look like it. But I do remember now saying, what does that say on the side? Bears in, but it's but it's bears. Well, got a pike anyway, though. Bears den. <laughs> yes, I did. I caught a pike. I did catch a third pike. So that's three pike and two smallmouth bass this weekend. Oh, rock bass, yes, that's what the guy said, anyway. I don't know either. But I do know that it's been fun. Is it weedy here? I said, is it weedy here? Okay. Seems to be a lot of drag. Oh, I got a fish. What do we got this time? What is it? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Bite. I don't know what that is. It's probably another bass. He's different than the other one. Yeah. Too small to keep. You need a hundred of those suckers. Well, we're almost back to Hardly Bay Marina. Uh, if you enjoyed our two-day video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you've ever stayed at a really nice site in in the French River, Ontario area. Uh, if you know the site numbers or maybe you have it on a map, you can just clip it out and show us where it is. We'd love to have some feedback for different places to go out here. Um, I will put in the comments below as well the two sites that we stayed at. So if anybody else is looking to stay at the French River, whether by motorboat or canoe, um, so you'll have that information and I'll try and put little captions in when I was doing the the uh, site uh, walk arounds to say which 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 site was which number uh, it was a lot of fun hanging out with you guys so we'll see you on the next adventure